What's up, world? Welcome to the first ever Two Days Today, bringing you less chats, more stats. We're just going to chat Breeze for however long, and if you like it, let us know, and if you don't, let us know. Straight up first. Go on. Blind tier list. Yeah, go on then, I'm okay. ready. Get, I need you to be on your phone. All right, sweet. I'm writing these down. Mm-hmm. There are no apps open. Oh, blind tier list. Create a new Hit app. Me. Okay. First up. Yep. Five pound in coins. Oh. One through ten, where you ranking ten. it? Eight. Eight. Eight, yeah. So, right. It's atrocious. Okay. Maybe less slamming, but you know. Yeah, sorry about that. Five pound in coins. While you're writing that down, yep. you can think of the next one. Bookmarks. Oh, bookmarks. One through ten. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Wow. Give me a lock though. with a bookmark. Useful. Yeah, as a oh, I've been locksmith. Like, honestly, you can yeah. you can open locked doors with a bookmark. Five pound of coins coins at eight is quite quite yeah, low as well. Should have been ten already. <laughs> I can tell. Number ten. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, number three, mojitos. Oh, absolute top tier. Where you put a mojito? God tier, Sneak, I'd say. Yeah. Um, I'm going five. Five. Yeah. You're leaving options. I've got open. to leave some options because uh, you could put anything in here. You could put like right. all sorts. Number four is the movie Gulliver's Travels with Jack Black. Oh, nine. Nine? The film is Hatred. Whack. What a film? It's just whack, mate. Gullivar yeah. Shark, well, he's a big geek. Big geek. They sing war. Yeah, no, I'm good. I don't care. <laughs> right, you got to let me catch up with these, mate. What did I, what would you say a minute ago? Bookmark what? Bookmarks Mojitos. Moj oh, yeah, of course. Mojitos I'm leaving the five. right gap. Yeah, so then I had... Gulliver's I've got Travel five, yeah, nine. Okay, yeah, Gulliver. I feel like I'm on, I'm on, I'm on a bit of a rut. I feel I'm all right. Well, the fifth one is glue. Just glue. Uh, so I've got Mojito in five, bookmark in seven. That's got to go in six for me. Putting glue six. Yeah. Can't go above that. It's got it's, it's better than bookmarks. Yeah, but it's glue. It's not as good as Mojitos. Yeah, I know, but... You prefer Mojitos of glue. Oh, yeah. Glue's never got me drunk. <laughs> fair. Fair, fair, fair. And again, Mojitos never got me high, like glue does. Has glue ever got you high? <laughs> no, I mean, you can get high off glue. Not that I've ever done it. Depends but... on what glue, I guess. Exactly. Next is Bang's haircut. Oh, Bangs haircut, as in with bangs. Yeah, right. as in having bangs. I mean, it was great for like Justin Timberlake back in the day, wasn't it? But I'm talking like on a woman. Bangs. Oh, like, like big fringe. Like they got the triangle so, bit. I'm not a fan, but I ain't got any choices left. Like five through nine is already covered for me. Yeah. So, I mean, there better not be some whack stuff coming because I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it in four. Four. Yeah, I've got. I've got reserve right. level. I've got, I think when you do these, you've got reserve ten. You've kept uh, 10. Yeah. Uh, There's what, four left? <laughs> up next, birthday cards. Oh, mate. It's getting worse. <laughs> to be fair, though, birthday cards can, like, make families good, can break families. Birthday cards. I mean, I'm, as if I'm going to put birthday cards in third place. Right. <laughs> I can't change this, can I? Nope. No? All right, birthday cards in third. Wow. Birthday cards, definitely better than bangs. But not as good as mojitos. Or so glue. I had a bit of a howler here, so. Up next, the common toad. Ten. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you put toad at ten. Toad at ten. Toads do You've not. You've got two and me. one left. I've got one and two, so they better be bangers. Don't change them. The name Sam. Oh. One or two, I hate boss. The name Sam. <laughs> one or two. 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 Then this has got to be whatever is best up. Uh, the number six. <laughs> oh yeah, number six is the <laughs> one. He's a don. All right. Number, I, actually, I feel like even if you told me these beforehand, I'd still put number six as number one. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I was hoping that somehow out of... Like, love the number six. Out of like God's plan, you'd have had the number six left. Number six left. Nah. Nah, no way. Everyone's going mid-tier straight away on these things. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I would put number six as number one. I wouldn't change... I would change Sam. I'd put that below Toad. I don't like Sam. Then Gulliver's Travel, still hella nine. Then Toad. I'm taking five pounding coins at like number three here. I know. <laughs> I, I, I was insane. Couldn't believe oh, I thought you'd it. have like a Bugatti in there, maybe. Nah, or something nah, like nah, that. Nah, nah, nah. You've gone some it's blind. really like. It's blind. All right, well, fair enough. That's. Well, if you ever was bad. Right bad. <laughs> so, oh, I didn't prepare one for you, so. You don't get one. We can just do a five. I'm going to do yeah, it off the top of my head. Want. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, blind tier. No, we'll go ten. Get your notes oh, out. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I've got it up. Get your notes ready. Mm -hmm. All right, blind tier. Let's Sean. Right, okay. So, yeah. first up, um, snow. Snow. Yeah. Now, John Snow is pretty cool. <laughs> no, I'm talking about snow. This is snow that has already been crushed and walked on. This is 10 a.m. snow. Okay, this is night after snow. This is night after this snow. People have already gone to walk, walk in this of snow. Walk shame snow. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Um, that means it's just, like, slippery. It's, yeah, I, you can call it as you see it. I'm just going to get injured. Yeah. Seven. 
You get injured on sunny days, mate. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll give Snow a seven. Okay, let's go for a lamppost. Lamppost? Yeah, how key a lamppost to you? Don't I'll, even drive, so... I'll give, I'll give a lamppost a, a three. A three? Yeah. For a lamppost? Help you see when you're walking about. Fair enough. Ice cream. Ice cream. Oh, ice cream... No flavour or just no ice vanilla, cream? vanilla ass ice cream, vanilla ice cream, vanilla ass that, ice cream. That is a flavour out of an ice cream van. Oh, <laughs> oh no! This isn't Italy. This is like Croydon ice cream van. Six. <laughs> you gone six? Yeah, that's not too bad. All right, the letter L. The letter L. Yeah, ten. Because you take all them. No, don't never take them. Never ten. takes an L. <laughs> that's the easiest ten I've ever locked in. Forty-eight hours football. What, the YouTube channel? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good, to be fair. Um, um, what do I have open? I'll give it four. Four? Yeah. 100% you should subscribe to that channel. <laughs> Shameless plug. A million pounds. A million pounds. <laughs> One million pounds. Yeah. Ooh, two. You got that in number two? Yeah. What you got left? I've got... <laughs> I've already got in my head what I'm giving I've it. I've got nine, eight, yeah. five... One. Yeah. That's it. Lettuce. Lettuce. Mm. Oh, lettuce is, is a is a team player though. Could be. Lettuce. Find that in burgers. Lettuce. You don't eat lettuce though. Nah, but like if it Where was are you putting lettuce? On the side of the plate. It makes, <laughs> it makes the meal look good. Oh, you're thinking garnish. <laughs> yeah, lettuce. Lettuce are uh, I'll go and eat for lettuce. All right, Thailand. Thailand. Yeah. Oh, I've never been. I hear good things. Thailand. Thailand. Where are you putting um, that? Have I got one f- uh, five? Mm-hmm. Thailand's five. All right, okay. Jamiroquai the swordfish. Oh, number one. Sailfish. Number one. <laughs> Jamiroquai is number one. Sean has a sailfish. Look it up. One day you might see it. It'll be here <laughs> next pod. <laughs> okay. Todd Bowley. Todd Bowley. <laughs> in one spot. <laughs> no, I, I just put Jamiroquai in the one spot. No, there's only one spot left. Yeah, nine. Oh, oh well, that, that worked out well. Fine, <laughs> perfect. So my list was... Ten was the letter L. Yeah. Nine was Todd Bowley. Yeah. Eight was lettuce. Seven was snow. Might be low. Six was vanilla ice cream from an ice cream truck in Croydon. Yeah. Specifically. Specifically. Five was Thailand, the yeah. nation. Mm. Um, 48 Hours Football, the YouTube channel that you should be subscribed to. 100%. Was number four. Lamppost at three. Oh, lamppost went in high. Two was a million pounds. Yeah. And one was Jamaica and my swordfish. I feel like your list was almost that's exactly, as you would design it. If I, if I had those things written out beforehand, that's how that's the exact order. That's probably how it would be. Fantastic. Fair enough. What a way to go. Moving on. Moving on to this segment. Did they take it too far? Oh, you got the Reddit. I've got a story from the internet, from Excellent. Reddit this time. Go on then. From... User slash Eam29. Okay. Did they take it too far is from the Petty Revenge subreddit. Ah, okay. I scroll this often because some of them are really funny. It's good content for you guys. (laughs) Did they take it too far? The title of this story is Best Friend Painted My Apartment Pink While I Was On Holiday. So I... Okay. Now, there's levels to revenge, isn't there? Yeah. Too far... What would you say is too far for someone painting your your apartment pink while you left them your well, There's, there's many after. things that are too far, but it's hard to find something that's on that level. Cause yeah. They, I'm assuming they live together. Like, let's give me no? the story. Okay. I'll tell you the story and then you you can tell me if yeah. they went too far. I'm going to need context, boss. So my best friend, more of a girly girl than me, yep. I think lots of pink, hair and nails done, etc. Mm. I'm definitely not like this and pink isn't exactly my colour of choice. This is also a female? Yes. Okay. Anyway, she was looking after my apartment while I was on holiday, and as a joke, she arranged for painters to come in That's and hilarious. paint my bedroom pink. That she also put hilarious. in pink satin sheets and pillows, all my artwork <laughs> replaced with pink-themed art, a pink rug, some pink decals on the walls. You get the idea. Yeah. So cue my petty revenge. That's not petty revenge at this point. Like I'm expected. That's, that's like it's super villain level. Depending on the relationship, if they're good mates, that's... That's expensive. Painting and decorators are not cheap. Where is this? Like in Delta? It's in America. Okay. They ain't cheap, man. $200 a day. <laughs> so, while she was out, I went into her apartment and took copies of all her photos on the walls. Then photoshopped just her head to be about 25% bigger in all of them and then put them back. <laughs> it will be a month this week and she still hasn't realised. So that's just... 
I mean, I feel like the wow factor's not there for a revenge. All right. That's just going to make you slightly paranoid. Like, she looks like a bobblehead in every picture. Like, imagine, like, you've, you've rolled in to your your house and it's just pink. Yeah. Like, you roll in, like, boom, pink. You like, you're genuinely think you're having, like, a fit. You're like, oh. what has happened? Then revenge, yeah, quotation marks, you don't even notice for a month. Yeah. That's not they but, took it too far. You didn't go far enough. But when they do realise. I didn't realise they weren't flatmates. I thought they had the no, same apartment. No, no, different apartment. That's breaking and entering. <laughs> you've commissioned work, paid money, and all you've done is gone down to like Xerox and made some copies and done some photoshopping. Like, I feel like you haven't gone far enough. If someone painted my shit pink, yeah. <laughs> right? I'm painting black, bitch him in. Like, that's yeah. it. That's all they're getting. They're never seeing colour again. I'm <laughs> dying the walls. <laughs> right? Ow. Uh, that L he never takes. Our all our gear just. Some knobhead decided whapped. to put the microphone. Oh my perfectly organised cables. My legs. I'm OCD as hell when it comes to cables, and it's so well organised under there. I've got a relatively large bit. Quadzilla legs. here just smushes it because he has to have the chair really high up to be the same height You've as me. You just raised your chair. <laughs> I'm now. Your chair is higher than mine. Ha, I'm measure the chairs. <laughs> Chair is low, oh, way more than you. <laughs> oh yeah, that, yeah. But no, I'm di I'm dying black. Like yeah. I'm going in there, windows black. You're going in there, not even black black. I'm talking. Well, it was, I'm talking that one. Yeah, like all right, cool. But I'm doing it myself. Oil it's, painting black. If you get a pro in, you'd you'd eventually be like, Raj, right, you know what? They've done nice cutting control. in. They've they, they've painted it well. I ain't painting it well. I'm yeah. leaving a wet edge. I'm I'm dry. It's dry. Like four coats here, one coat there. You can sort of see through. Shit. Like yeah. a decorator is going to be like. Nah, mate. You're... But she, like the pink, the one that changed everything pink, painted the room, changed all her artwork, changed her bed. Bed sheet and everything. Rugs. Invested. She spent two grand That's on this the, prank. Yeah. But then all she, the other woman did was go in and change a few pictures. Why have people, why are your mates unless got she's keys got, to your house? Unless mate? she's got 80 pictures of herself. Yeah, like, she's probably got like four or five. If, if they're those little, like, portable camera ones. Yeah. And she's managed to Photoshop them and put them back. That's hilarious. I'd be changing it to something else. Someone else. Like, do yeah. something. Like, or I'd, make, I'd, make be, a in, I'd install a speaker. I don't think you've gone too far. Install a speaker makes you think she's getting burgled every I would, night. I would be putting Jesus in every one of her photos. Secret camera. Something like that. Just something. <laughs> I would register her where her apartment as a church and then yeah, invite see people around. Yeah, just, just type her address in on like a bathroom stall. But to be like, fair, someone paid for someone to come in and fully decorate my house. Hmm. Like, sure, it's pink, but I'm not going to be too mad. Exactly. It's funny. You could you could make a good bit of content out Maybe of that. Maybe it was Look, a mess before. I, I magically well. got a pink house. Everyone will watch that video. <laughs> Still, I don't think they went far enough. No? No, no way. I think I think there's there's a... She could have done a lot worse and potentially ruined the friendship. Yeah. I think she, she, she played... She could have done a lot worse and got even. She played it safe. And just... You Why know. you got keys to your mate's flats? Like, I, I ain't got a key to my mate's apartment. No. I've got a key to your place. Yep. You live with me. Nah, who knows that? I'll go upstairs and paint your <laughs> pink. <laughs> Just don't paint over my signature, all right? All right. Oh. oh. Why? That's the second L he doesn't take. Yep. Next up, two truths, one lie. Go on. Was that the only yeah. segment, the thing we're getting out yeah, of that segment? Yeah. I right, bet. Fair enough. There, there's a right. lot, but I don't want to, like, because the stories are long. Right, fair enough. But, um, two truths, one lie. Two truths, one lie. Now, you understand two truths, one lie? Of course. I'll explain got, it. I've got to detect which one the lies. I'll explain it to people that don't know. Yeah. I will tell you two statements that are true mm -hmm. and one statement that is a lie. Mm -hmm. Not in that order. And you will have to tell me whether or not. Which, which, you'll have to tell me which one of them I'm lying on. All right. And I understand. Hopefully they're things that you don't know about me. I might have told you them before. 99% of people know what two truths, one lies. Good. And right now everyone's gearing up. So gear up, people. Cool. Get in the comments. One, first two, three. truth. I had my first kiss in a Tesco. You? Yep. What, a Tesco Superstore extra? Next extra truth. Like, oh, I don't get to ask questions. Right, I've cool. played Simon Cowell and Ken from Barbie. Okay. Next truth. I've never once paid to watch a movie. You now you to, can ask questions. You've never once paid to watch a movie. You go to the cinema all the time. It's easy for me. How are you not paying that? You ain't sneaking into the cinema. Shit's locked down tighter than most bank vaults. <laughs> right. There's always that one extra job's worth that's like, where's your ticket? Where, why is it ripped? How are you getting it? Or unless you're going there like two hours early and sitting there pretending you work there. That's some shit you do as well. You can right? ask questions. You can ask questions. Yeah, no, okay, now. right. 
Tesco, Superstore, or ex- um, Extra, the big one, or the Little Express? It was Tesco Express in Wellington. I bet. In the shop or out the front? Inside the shop, in the milk aisle. Who, like, which aisle were you down? Milk. Milk aisle? Yeah. Did you say got milk before? No. Nah. Did she know who you were? Yeah. Was it consensual? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can't try and... I'm trying to picture the romantic scene, like... Clean up aisle two. Like, uh, my, my first ever kiss. First kiss. Peck yeah. or like proper like... Proper bleh. kiss. Like whap. Yeah. How old? I was in year eight. Year eight. School. Thirteen. Mother yeah. weren't out at you, thirteen. Okay. <laughs> Your mum weren't letting you know we're thirteen years old. <laughs> All right. Next one was... Not the cinema one. I played Simon kiss. Cowell and Ken from Barbie. Yeah, I mean, you've been a thespian, man. You've, you're, you're up there, so... That doesn't surprise me. That's probably some scorting. Like, or just some... Played him in what regard? Just voice or, like, for a play? So we did Barbie in primary school. Yeah. Yeah, of course you're going to be Ken for that. Yeah. You were adorable as a kid. So I, I got cast as Ken. Plus you smooth down there. The main role. Yeah, yeah. you smooth down there. Yeah, you, I'm fully ken You're You're Varys from Game of Thrones. I got, I got ken as a yeah, kid. Yeah, of course, 100%. Yeah. Fell over <laughs> on a seesaw. <laughs> no, and then for Simon Cowell... Or match your energy. <laughs> For Simon Cow, it was part of the Barbie play. Yeah. Was when Barbie sang Barbie Girl. Yeah. I had to be Simon Cow and Ken. So I had oh, to right. run from as if that Barbie was singing Barbie Girl to X Factor. Right, the most the one I'm having the most difficulty with is the third one. Like not paying for a cinema is I've never once you go ever to the paid cinema. to watch a movie. Pay to watch a movie. Not even at this just the cinema. It, I know you don't pay for stuff here because I pay for it, but like, it's, you've gone to the cinema loads, even on your ones. Like you, no one's jumping in or hiding. Like you can't even use a ladder trick, so that's not working. So first Which kiss one? in a Tesco. I don't think you've had your first kiss in a Tesco over that, but it's way too specific. So I'm, I'm, I, I don't think you would have done the two truths and literally put the lie third as well. But there's so many red herrings here. So I'm gonna, I don't know what you people are thinking here. Yeah. Like, which one's most outraged? You don't know the kid. I know the kid. He might have made out in a Tesco. Oh, well, but I've kid. never made out in a Tesco, and I'm 10 years older than you. Like, yeah, but how, you often, you, that how shit, often you bopped a Tesco? Yeah, I know. But like, why were you in Tesco it with It was some romantic. Girl? Was this your girlfriend? Yeah. Just holding hands, thought like, oh, do you know what? Boom. Snog. Yeah, it just happened. Was it once or twice? What do you mean? Did you kiss her once or twice? Once. Just one snog and that was it? Yeah. I was... In year eight, bro. Did you finish and go, that's cold? No. Because in the fridge section. Oh, no, come no, on, no. man. I was like, oh, that was really nice. Oh. Thank you. That was my first kiss. I said, thank you. Because I was a well brought up lad. I 100% believe you on that. You're that, <laughs> you're that level of nerd. Okay, uh, I'm going to go with you've never paid for a movie. That is the you lie. You think that's a lie? The two, the two others are true. You've played Ken and Simon Cowell. I played Ant and Deck. The say I, I myself played Ant and Deck in year six, but that's, I played both of them. That's cool. So I had the forehead and Deck's Northern accent. So and the painkiller addiction. Yeah, and and that yeah too. And the drink driving <laughs> ban. So the uh, <laughs> I um I think yeah you I think you've definitely been to Zimmer and you have paid to watch movies. So you sir are wrong. No, uh, mate, this is some rubbish. You're how, wrong. how have you never paid to watch a movie? Never once have I walked into a cinema and gone to the kiosk if I was on my own. You've, you've booked in advance? No, no, I just walked past. I just walked round. Are you, ra- are you lying? You, you can literally just walk in. I didn't know you'd That's done That's literally all it is. You're such a little fiend. You it, know that as well. In the view. A little tea leaf. In the view. <laughs> yeah. You just go up the escalator and walk in. Well, like you admit it to crimes here. What oh. are they going to do? <laughs> Catch me. <laughs> I don't, I don't exist. <laughs> and then in the... So it's, in, not tes- it's not the first kiss then? You've it, definitely, is, it is the first That's kiss. the lie? Yeah. Yeah, okay, all right, fair enough. That was, that was like... I'm looking here like you guys obviously can't see him for those of you that are just listening, but I'm looking at his eyeballs like yeah. and when he's telling that story, he's bipping everywhere. Like, yeah, I do know. He's probably trying that. to sell me on the NLP, but yeah. Oh, fair enough, mate. I fair did enough. have a kiss in Tesco. Yeah, weren't your first one? Weren't my first one. Yeah, well, 13 weren't your first one, or was yeah. that elder? Who's snogging up in Tesco, boss? I was a dog in high school. Uh, what are you talking about? I was a dog. A dog? Woof dog yeah, or like yeah, what? I had the dog in me. Well, in year seven, they saw you get booked in the face by year yeah, nine. First day, like, mm, first day, mm, first day nearly got knocked out. That would have been a much better fuck. I, obviously, I know that's yeah, true. Yeah, you know that one. Like, but who stands up for year eight gets clapped by year nine in year seven? Like, that's for anyone in America. That's a ninth grader punching, not slapping, punching a seventh grader who's trying to protect an eighth grader, and you firm it as well. Just 
All right. <laughs> and then when Simples. I got home, my mother was like, what happened to your face? Yeah. Oh, I got booked. <laughs> was that your first day? Second yeah, day? First day, like first, first day. First day high school. First day, yeah. Raw. Secondary school. First day. I learned not yeah. to protect people after that. No, 100%. <laughs> so you just, what you learned is that you can take a punch. Yeah. <laughs> like, not from me, you'd die. But from, uh, from a year nine, you take that year nine punch right By now. By the way, <laughs> in, in, in year seven, I was five foot three. Yeah. So, I mean, I was only about five, six in year seven. So uh, seven, seven, I, grade, hit, yeah. I hit year nine and I skyrocketed. <laughs> I hit 5'11 <five, laughs> in year nine, never yeah, grew again. That's it, Bosh. <laughs> I think I was I was six one in year 10, 10th grade, and now just under six yeah. three. So. See, it's going to be a lot harder for me because mm. you've got 10 years more life. Of course. You can pull stuff from. Yeah. So People don't want to hear about me, though. I will pick you apart. <laughs> Hit me. No, it's you. You Hit want two truths, one yeah. lie from me? Yeah. Oh, 100%. I've got this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Nothing incriminating. That's actually bad. Please. Yeah, no, I'll get you. That's fine. Um, okay. First truth. Yep. I have been fired or forced to leave every job I've ever had. <laughs> um, second truth. I have visited more than 40 countries. Yeah. And the third truth, I speak more than three languages. Really? Yeah. Fluently? Not fluently, but just you competently. Just know, you know six words in each language. Conversation level. Okay. Conversation level. Yeah. Yeah. Is one of those languages Spanish? Yes. That's, I mean, you're lying, bro. <laughs> you don't know Spanish. I, I genuinely don't reckon you could have a conversation with anyone in Spanish. Oh, it's quite you confident. can sing Despacito. No, no, that's, that's not for me. That's not for me. <laughs> okay. Forced to leave every job you've ever had or been fired. Yeah. Now, that one, I don't think, I think it could be true because I don't think you'd ever quit a mm. job. I think you'd just get, you'd get to the point where you're like, okay, I need someone to tell me to stop doing this. Because mm. I don't think, because you'd see people looking at you and you'd be like, oh, these people need me, but I don't want to be here. Mm. So you have to like force them to get rid of you, like replace you basically. No, I mean, they, they want to fire me, but they can't. So they make it so uncomfortable that I leave on my yeah. own. Yeah. yeah, that sort of thing. Mm. But like, I reckon if you liked what you were doing, you would never get to that, that stage. Maybe. Like, with those jobs. But like, you weren't selling cars it's the ADHD and stuff. boss. Like, <laughs> you, got, you got fired from Mini. Yep. Oh, wish I could remember how many other jobs you had. Many. Ten years older than you. Did you leave Evans? Hmm? Did you just walk out of Evans or did you get fired from Evans? That depends. Which time? You worked for Evans twice. Yep. <laughs> so they fired you and then hired you back? <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you mean, no? No. But they could have made me leave and then fired me. <laughs> yeah, fair. Nice. Alfred's, you probably got fired. Or it's the lie and then... Yeah, I know. Then the other two So are countries you've been to. Yeah. 40 plus. Mm-hmm. Exactly how many countries have you been to? <laughs> Can't tell you that. Why not? <laughs> That's the part of the truth. Yeah, no. Make it up if it's not oh. true. Oh, it's actually over like 60. Yeah, but how yeah. many exactly? I want to know. Well, I know you know. So how many do you I know? don't know exactly. It's probably like 63. 63? Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Love for travel, mate. There's not yeah. a lot else to do in the world, you really. You do go to a load really of the shit ones as well. Yeah. They shouldn't really count as countries, but... They the, count. Like the Bahamas. It's not mm. really a country. Oh, you're wild. You're wild in. Not a country, oh, is it? Wild it's in. a fucking beach. Mm. Cool, I went to Brighton last week. Huh. Yeah, another country tick. Yeah. No, you went there for the beach. Turks and Caicos, maybe that should count. We had one. Is that two? Huh? Turks and Caicos. No, and Turks two. and Caicos is one it's place. It's just one. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, but to get there, you have to go somewhere else. Correct. Oh, that adds up. That does add I reckon up. you've been to over 60. Well, over 40 was your truth. They're correct. I reckon you've definitely been to over 40. That's what I'm saying. They're all true. Yeah, they're all true. So, yeah, you ruined the, the game. one is a lie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um... And the last one was you can speak three languages. Uh, yeah, three to a conversation, conversation. level, yes. Because so I've been practicing. English. Obviously, that counts yeah. as one. Well. Yeah. Spanish, you claim. Claim, yeah. What's when the I, third When one? I go to Spanish. When I go to Spanish? When I go yeah. to Spanish. When you I go to speak Spain. English. <laughs> when I go to Spain, I need like half an hour before I can competently get around without using my phone. And the third one is? Portuguese. <laughs> oh, okay. And I, almost, and French. And, no, nah, French you ain't got. French, got French. I've got. I reckon you got better German than you French. Pretty. No, I don't know any any German at all. Deco. <laughs> Deco Dovarid. <laughs> Bring it back to football. Oh yeah, this is forty hours. No. Well, I've been I've been practicing Portuguese for like a year. Yeah, so. I I understand why. Mm -hmm. We don't need to go into that. Oh, um, 
To be fair, it was just a habit that happened and I kept going on that little Memorize app. Yeah. So I have a pin in the description if Sean's going to put it there. But, no, I'm not. Well, fair enough. But uh, it's, like, it's just as good as Babbel. Like, that's how I did Spanish as well. Yeah. So, But I just do it like 10, 20 minutes a day. See, I learned in like school. Yeah, I know. Your Spanish is much better than mine. Yeah, but what does Izquierdo mean in Spanish? Izquierda. Izquierdo. I don't know. Left. Oh, there you so go. So if you'd have done a basic lesson in Spanish, <laughs> you'd know that. I don't do basic lessons. I do conversation. <laughs> like, ¿cómo Which estás? way did he go? <laughs> Left. Oh, <laughs> conversational is a is a technicality though, really. In this, it's the, that's the statement that is is yeah. true or not. Like, I'm going with you. Haven't been fired or forced to quit every job. Hey, you, you got it right. Did I? Yeah. There's one job I left on my own. <laughs> <laughs> was it Halfords? It was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. to be fair, I left. I worked for Evans, a, sh- a store, then head office. So that mm-hmm. move was voluntary, but same company. That's just a yeah. That's a promotion. But no, I've had I've had many a job, and uh, as anyone else that suffers with. Um, any sort of hyperactivity or mm-hmm. attention deficit, it is it's difficult to stick to one long term, especially when you've got someone that's like I've also got an authority problem. So yeah, I like being in charge. So I've actually run my own company for the last twelve years. So it's it is what it is. Contracts various everywhere else. Sean and I have worked together. Put the trumpet down, will yeah. ya? Trumpet. Put it in your own. Yeah, exactly. So that's why technically. Yeah, I, I, I did leave one job on my own accord. I cannot believe I got that. To be honest, I thought I thought I was going to be high and dry. No, those. but no, 40, countries, forty countries. Yeah, yeah. Do like a travel. Yeah. yeah, because it was just the having to go to somewhere to get to somewhere else. Oh, easily. That is like, I'm, I'm, yeah. In one trip, recently I've done like six. Just yeah. getting to one place. Just because sometimes the planes get diverted. Yeah. Like, if you count states as well, a hundred plus. Yeah. Like, because it's, like when I had to go to Amsterdam. On yeah. the way back, the train stopped in Paris. Yeah. So I had, I, had to get, I had to get out. If you touch the soil, yeah. like land side, if, you're, if, you, if you have a connection, I don't think that should count. You're stuck in but the if you, if you have to check out, go to yeah. a hotel in that country, you've experienced that. At least you haven't traveled there, but you've yeah. experienced yeah. it. You've been yeah. there. You've you know? been in a taxi registered to that, that yeah. place, Bosch. That's what it counts as. You just take so. one step in a museum. You've been to the museum. Yeah, well, yeah. that's it. Nice. Nice, there you I'm go. very happy I got that. I can't believe... That was off the top of the head as well. I had no prep time for you that. You thought I'd pay to watch a film. I, I, I had hoped you'd pay I'm to watch a film. I'm a scammer, boss. Honestly. <laughs> just... I've been scamming. Deadpool Wolverine, though. How'd you get in there? I walked in. That is outrageous. You just don't go to the... Do you sit in the VIP seats as well and just shit on everyone? If there, if there is open seats at the back, I will go and sit at the back. I walk Try in... and do that in the Omniplex. Try and do it in the Omniplex. They ain't let you in. The Empire in Sutton. No, the Omniplex in Sutton. Yeah, it yeah. used to be Empire. Yeah. I've li- I did that you to watch... You ain't getting on a recliner seat. I did that to seat. watch Iron Claw. I did you that to watch Argyle. Uh, no one's watching Iron Claw. Yeah, I know. All right, Argyle, though, that would have yeah. been a tough... Yeah, but you do it like two weeks in. I literally walked Go in. Go there opening day, see I how you to, do. I went to the gym and thought, <laughs> I might go watch a movie. Walked in. And every other time that I've been... With people, they've paid for me Because it's go. private, though. I don't think that's a crime, is it? It's not shoplifting. What did I do? They're playing the movie anyway. What did I do? Exactly. Trespassing. Probably how they, they call it. Yeah, maybe. What crime would they put it in the comments? Like, what crime would that yeah, be? Yeah, if you're a police officer <laughs> or a judge. Or a lawyer. Because he's going to need one, apparently. Tell me what crime I could He doesn't understand what culpability means. <laughs> and what? It was too long ago. That was good. I enjoyed that. Yeah. I'd well, appreciate more prep time to get something. That yeah, was off yeah, the top of my head. Yeah, there yeah. you go. In the future, you will plan blind rankings. You will plan two truths, one lie. That's good to me. And you will plan a shag, marry, kill. Oh, here we go. Because it's not what you think it is. It's not just people. That's rude. That's dirty. We don't want dirty. So your shag, marry, kill options are. Yeah. Quentin Tarantino's directing ability. Yeah. The justice system. Yeah. And Ludacris's verse on Baby by Justin Bieber. Okay, I would marry... Quentin Tarantino's directing ability. Yeah. Geezer is top tier. I think this is an easy one. Yeah. I would kill Ludacris's verse on, yeah. <laughs> on Baby, and I would marry the other one. You're shagging the justice system. Shag- I would shag the justice system. Just for a bit of revenge on everyone else that's been ragged by the justice system. You'd marry Quentin Tarantino's... 100%. Uh, yeah, but you know it's ending after the next one. I don't care. It's fine. His next one's his last film. He keeps okay. saying that. Yeah, I know. We keep saying that. Yeah. He's, and he, and he he's likes that guy feet. in the gym. One more. And plus he, one. And, and he, more. And, and he, one. And he likes feet, though. He's like DJ Khaled. Another one. He's got to have feet involved <laughs> in all his films. What do you mean feet? He's got a foot fetish, isn't he? I've never... Show me in Django where there's feet. There's literally a film... Oh, it's the first opening shot is then walking in bare feet. Yeah, and there's also a film <laughs> where he's he plays the extra that has to drink the liquid being poured down the woman's leg. 
and he's got her toes in his mouth. What film are you referring to? I don't know what film it is, but I've seen it. You'll, you'll have to get that one up. Yeah, me because I'll, I will look at. Are you sure that's Quentin Tarantino? Yeah, he sat there with toes in his gob. Well, please get in the comments what video it's is that. It's a big thing that Quentin Tarantino that? has a foot fetish. We'll see. Don't worry, it'll pop up on the screen at some point. I, I'm going to shag Mary kill you now. Yeah, you're going to kill those, me? Not all those things. Whoa. Okay, right. <laughs> no, I Just will not marry pick. you. No, I'm joking. So, we're brothers. Okay, so. We, uh, okay, okay, okay ready? You've got, your choices are. Yep. Yeah. The colour orange. A cactus. Yeah. Mary Berry. Okay. But well, I'm killing the colour orange. <laughs> yeah. Unnecessary. I want to know how you're going to shag a cactus. Unnecessary. I'm marrying the cactus. <laughs> I will sleep next to a cactus. That's fine. You're shagging Mary Berry. I'm shagging Mary Berry. Oh, what position is she doing? Oh, she's doing all the work. She ain't doing any of them. She's doing all the work. I'm just laid there. She's, she's doing the Zimmer frame. No, I have to. I can't marry Mary Berry because I'll be fat. I'll okay. get fat very quickly. Why? Because of her soggy bombs. Yeah. Soggy bomb was the pun I should have made. Yeah, as well. But, you missed yeah. out. No, because like she just keep baking cakes. She would. Like, the one night stand with her afterwards, she got some banging chocolate cake ready. Yeah, on the cake stand. I'm scr- the one night stand on the cake stand. I'm scrambling <laughs> the chocolate cake then her. No. Oh. You did, but, but you no. not being the cake then her. That's no. You can't put this out. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I would bang Mary Berry. <laughs> Out of those three options, you're marrying a cactus. I'm 100 marry a cactus. How are you? How are you? How are you going to hold hands with a cactus? I've got matching personalities with a cactus. Though. Don't you have a cactus? No, I have cactus pots. Oh, but the cactus has died. Oh. How do you kill a cactus? You leave severe it, neglect. You leave it in the window and go on holiday. <laughs> severe neglect. Those things can hold their water for like a month. Yeah, but what if you hadn't watered them all year? Oh, there you go. Then that is definitely gone down. But no, I would marry Chumas. Chumas was the name of my cactus. Chumas. Yeah. Chumus. It's Chumus. Just the name of the cactus. Who get, who, wh- where's Chumus I named it from? Chumus. Did you see Hummus and put C in front of it? Nah. Huh. I, I looked at it and went, you're Chumus. Huh? Did you see the Spanish version of Thomas? <laughs> Chumus. Chumus the Chank Engine. Chumus. <laughs> but no. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. All right, yeah. fair enough. Off the top of my head, I was like, I'm definitely getting cactus in there. Yeah. I don't know where Mary Berry came from. That was just... Hmm. You just can't say anything about Mary Berry. Yeah. Hey, you want to eat her chocolate cake and then her? I mean, I'm more age appropriate I am for scared her. I would kill her, though. Why? A hip scan. Yeah, she's she's like old. But she's an animal. I bet she's old, come out of dominatrix, latex, boom. Oh yeah, I can't put anything near her mouth though. She'd become like, what you She's got what? Like, big teeth. Yeah, but no, they come out, boss. They ain't real. They're not attached to her skull. They go, pop, pop, boom. Yeah, but she's rich. Hey, and? Surely they're like proper in there. Uh, no, they still come out every night. What are you talking about? Nah, don't she, leave dentures in, boss. You leave yours in? Why, huh? why can't she have Mine what you are have? real. Why can't she have what you have? Huh? She eats so much sugar, bro. Isn't it? <laughs> She she did not hear of aspartame until she was like fifty. <laughs> fifty. She's made of plaque. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, don't say that. She's national treasure. Yeah, no. <laughs> anyway, what's next? Up next is awful opinions. All right, cool. Now I've got two of the worst things I've ever read. Okay. That I also found on Reddit All right, on good. R slash unpopular opinion. All right, good. Now these aren't unpopular. These are ridiculous. Right. Okay. The first one is, I might throw up reading it. I'm ready. To be honest, it's from. User slash the big small. Okay. But small spelled S M O L. Oh, the big small. The big small. Okay. Oh my god. I enjoy sucking the tea bag after I finish drinking my tea. Oh, what a savage, bro. What are you doing that for? That's, is that like, it doesn't even tell you where it's from. Is that US? Probably not. As an English the way, man. The way it's worded. That is not. disrespectful. But the rest, when I finish my tea, I'll leave about an inch or two of my tea water in the cup. First, I will suck the water content from the tea bag dry, then dip it back into the cup and repeat. If the, They're just reloading their tea bag. If the bag rips open for some reason, I won't eat the leaves, of course, but I might, oh, chew, no, on, that'd be... but I might chew on it for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> this person sounds like... There was, a, there was another story here where this woman was obsessed with eating the foam inside her sofa. Like... Couch foam. Yeah, but there's, I like, get that texture. No, te- what do you mean? Like it's that's like, foam that's is, a tea bag. Foam boss. is nice to chew on. Like, like, foam feels, doesn't all of a sudden erupt and become like sand in your mouth. No, but foam feels good to chew on. You know? Who's electing to just tea bag themselves on the reg? If foam had a calorific benefit <laughs> to me, I would eat foam. <laughs> what? It would. Like that. No, what, just one your kilo of foam, zero calories. Yeah, but you're not, definitely you're, dying. But yeah, you don't <laughs> feel full, do you? Like, oh, I'm eating. I mean, foam. go in and go. Poof. Yeah, well, that's not good. I feel like the acid would just break that shit straight down. But tea, who sucks on tea bag? You're the only human in the in the world that sucks on tea bag. Get in the comments. Come on, what's going? The leftover tea bag offers a strong earthy flavour that stays on my tongue for a while. Earl Grey tea like, bags like are especially tasty. 
Oh my days. He's giving recommendations. This guy just... That uh, is a very unpopular. The top opinion. comment was, uh, straight to hell. Yeah, straight like. Yeah. It's disrespectful just to tea bags. Like, I just... They're, they're not prepared. They're not ready. They're not told when they're made by PG Tips or Tetley, whoever making them, right? Whoever your tea bag of choice is. We don't sponsor anything. They're not told in the factory, oh, you're going to this place where you're going to get chewed up on. Like, you're going to get sucked on. That would have been traumatic. You're like, going to do your job. And the, the worst... Sure, if you were doing your job and you suddenly just... Some, you were just in someone's mouth all of a sudden, you'd be yeah. like, oh. like Depends on what palm is. I'm, un, I'm unexpected. You know. your, your head. Like, <laughs> Damn, they got a big mouth. <laughs> God <damn. laughs> What am I doing? It's horse. <laughs> nah. I didn't but say like, which head. Not only <laughs> do they suck the tea bag they also leave the tea bag in the tea while they drink the tea I mean, no that's normal no, if you, that's if you normal. don't have English tea and you just have like chamomile or Earl Grey it does sit in there and stay you there you take the tea bag no, that's, no you, you can't do that with what Earl Grey what if the bag splits then you've got you chew on it. tea you chew on it apparently you the advice what? we're given is chew on them tea bags till it splits then leave that earthy flavour on your tongue all day we got tea bags downstairs yeah. this is a single man who is writing this who has never touched a pair of titties the like, big small the big small Could be has a woman. never touched nothing. No, no self-respecting woman's call himself the big small. The they might as well be a sixty-nine. They're, they're not self-respecting. <laughs> what? They're making up some about tea bags because otherwise that should be a crime. That's worse than you like I, ducking on. Cinema. I genuinely read this and I shouted "uh" <laughs> at my screen. Yeah. The next one is not as like. So hopefully not as worse as bad as that. I mean, it's not. Good. Just lay it on me. What is it? This is from you slash user slash daddy ravioli. Okay, so an Italian, old, an old Italian man. I'm assuming. Get ready. It's I'm a ready. woman. It's a woman. Oh, she's there's, called there, daddy. There was a video with this to okay. prove it. That's how ridiculous it is. Oh, I'm listening. Yep. My husband believes running pizza underwater to cool it down is acceptable. Say that again. My husband believes running pizza underwater to cool it down is acceptable. My guy just wants bread. Pretty much what the title says. Not my opinion, but my husband's. In college, my husband and I would make oven pizzas and he would run his slices under the water fountain to cool it down faster. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He says I'm it didn't change the taste and it was still good. What kind of texture? What kind of um, water pressure are we talking? Are we talking like... Taff. What? Open or just like a touch? Dude, like the video, he just turns the tap on like normal. Like yeah. Like you're filling up a glass of water. Yeah. And then puts his... Bit of pizza under it and choose it. Whose toppings ain't scarpering? Like maybe it doesn't have toppings. Oh, the fringe. Like, I, like I would. That's divorce, mate. That's <laughs> he's got to go. She she probably husband yeah, and he did that in college. So she knew that and then married him. Her yeah. she's a problem. She yeah. she is an what's it called? She is and not an instigator. Acceptant. No. Feeder. A, a no someone that settler. No, someone that, that uh Oh she is an enabler. There that you is what go. she is. She is an enabler and you should not be enabling that kind of behaviour. Like put your real name up on there and let us bully you because that is ridiculous. If it's too hot, wait. Or blow. Yeah. Okay. Two options. You do not go, oh, my pizza moisten. No. This what if you accidentally puts hot water on it? All right. It, then... it doesn't change the flavour. You're literally diluting it. You can, if you add water to anything, yeah. the flavour changes. The, the comment said that just removes all the flavour and none of the oil. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Still going to be hot. Guy just wants bread. Yeah. Unless he's literally just getting like cheese pizza and it's burnt to a crisp, and then you put some water over it. Yeah. That that ain't moving. But if you've got a nice Italian pizza, your daddy ravioli. I'm assuming there's a little Italian twang in there. That should. That's all. That's a crime, though. In Italy, yeah. You go, if you, you went shot. to Italy, like, surely, shot. like, the, but no, I can't say that. Right. Surely, no, Italy, Italy. Italy. Yes, Germany. <laughs> Einsfund. I have to edit. <laughs> surely, that's, that's not happening. Cr criminal. Criminal. Which was worse, though? Sucking tea bags or wet pizza? Sucking tea bags, I don't care. I don't, I don't Sucking tea bags. You could have literally said. One of the worst like, things I've ever heard. Like, genocide versus yeah. that, no, like. Tea bags. I'm, as an English man, people's fun. <laughs> no, it's just, no it's just, uh. I suck on tea bags. Sucking on tea bags is not. Is I, not I would. Time I would get wants. done for assault if I saw a dude sucking a tea bag. I think that would stop a restaurant. Not many things would stop a restaurant. I what? heard a dude going like on a tea bag. No, if you just oh. if you just in the corner of your eye just caught some like 
not many things make you like howl, like yeah. like like laugh or like like just shock you. But if some yeah. guy just just finishes up, mm, that's nice. Mm, oh, like because that's on a string. Like those yeah. tea bags aren't ones you grab. He's swinging that. Mm -hmm. He ain't grabbing it. He's gonna be swinging that. Like, oh, I was thinking like, like two what is he doing? Two handed, giving it the through the thing. And no, if it splits, he's fully if in the it mouth. Splits, he chews on it. Have you ever had them flying saucer sweets? Yeah, we get them in here in the UK all the time. Like that, that is probably mm. what's going on there. And but tea with tea, sherbet discs in America. It's ruined my day. Okay. That is a day ruiner. Yeah, that's it's awful. My day. To be fair, Shouldn't I'm we... gonna have to go and apologise to the tea bags mm -hmm. <laughs> cabinet. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Penultimate round. Quick yeah. one. Go on. The thing about me. Yeah. I'm going to ask you a question that you shouldn't know the answer to. I should. You shouldn't. I shouldn't know the answer to. No. Okay. No, there's no way you know. Go on then. Where's my birthmark? Your birthmark? Mm hmm. Um, your birthmark. Your third nipple. No, it's not birthmark. Okay. Sean has three nipples. Um, yeah, that would. Um, but what colour is it? Brown or red? It's like slightly more olive than my normal skin. Ah. I'm going to say your bum crack. My bum crack. Yeah. You think my birthmark's in my bum crack and I would never it's bore that It's there or up. your groin. My groin. Yeah. It's actually here. Oh. There you go. Is that it? Birthmark. Pathetic. For anyone of you that can't see, it's on his shoulder. It's on my left shoulder. All right. Same to you. Where's my birthmark? Yours is... Like around here somewhere. It is on my ribs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. mine but is yours enormous. Is obvious, though. Yeah, I'm not showing mine, but mine yeah. is, mine is about the size of your entire hand. Well, it depends. If, how big if your you hands can, are. if you can palm a basketball yeah. <laughs> on yeah. my rib, it looks like I've been grabbed and burnt. You can get it tattooed just here. Yeah, some really yeah, good birthmark tattoos. I'm, I'm, I'm not the tattoo guy. Yeah, I know. But... I only have six tattoos. Yeah, six. Good old Evan. Justin Bieber style. Got this one. You want to show right the, there? Show everyone that one on your chest. Which one? The, the wolf. The date. Oh, the date I graduated school. Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, bad. so to end this, yeah. name this thing. I'm going to show you a picture. Sorry mm -hmm. for the audio listeners. Audio listeners, pop over to YouTube right now. Jump on the YouTube video. This. I will timestamp it Just skip it in the right comment. to the back and you can have a little go, but get in the comments what you think this is. I will timestamp it for you. I'll figure out how to do that. If you don't know what the name of it is, just make one up. Go on. Pow. Oh, my God. It is a purple plant of some kind. It, it looks dangerous. It's a purple flower. It looks like... It looks really pretty, which normally in nature means stay away from me. I'm going to kill you. Uh, it's not nightshade. It looks like some sort of Pokemon. So I'm going to say purple death lapras. Purple death lapras. That's what that is. Nice. <laughs> uh, it actually is called Iris. I Oh. <laughs> I mean, I was a few characters off, but yep. Iris. Yeah. Okay. Just got a name. Okay. I you mean, look it's at this. an Iris plant. You look at this and you think this is going to be called like dandelion and everything else. Yeah, deadly nightshade yeah. or like. It's going to have at least 15 characters in its name. Mary Berry's Queef is what I'd call that. That's for you. Don't talk about Mary Berry's Queef. <laughs> tastes like Don't talk about your wife. <laughs> tastes, like, tastes like chocolate cake. <laughs> Next up. Speaking of Pokemon, yeah. this guy. What is that? It's like Geodude's gay best friend. Why has he got a crack pipe coming out of his head? He is a double scoop ice cream ah, cone. Okay. So he's Italian. Okay. I'm going to say that's... Why is ice cream Italian? Maconi. Maconi. Yeah. That Pokemon is called Maconi. Maconi. It's actually called Vanillux. Oh, Vanillux. So boring over like in Japan. Like Deluxe and Vanilla. Yeah. And finally... This guy. That is a glitter stormtrooper. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> oh, probably like Horcrux or something like that. That's See, Harry you can either but... go with the character name or the actual guy who's wearing that mask's name. Oh, so there's a ca that character's actually got a name. This is a uh... wrestler. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Interesting. That looks like an old-ass photo. Is that Mick Foley under no, that? No, no, no. no. <laughs> like, you won't know. Is it? Like, okay. Uh, I'm going to go Glitter Balls. Glitter Balls. Yeah. So he's called the Shockmaster. Oh, okay. You've, you've shown me a screen with no words on it, but... Fine. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. Shockmaster. <laughs> okay. But then the guy underneath is Fred Ottman. Okay. And the I was hoping you said it was Greg Davies from Taskmaster. <laughs> the, the clip of this. He made his debut, and he's this whole like, oh, Star Wars IP Oh, I'm going stolen. to miss. Yeah. He fell over on the ramp on his way down, and the helmet like rolled away from him. 
So he just stood up and you could see his face. Oh, well. The whole gimmick was gone. Gone. That's, you, I'm not surprised you can't see because one reflection, refraction, and those oh, yeah. eye holes be tiny. You cannot see through it. The <laughs> eye holes are glittered over. Exactly. What's going on? All you can see is like looking through a kaleidoscope. Oh, you're looking for a duration. You ain't getting one on there. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> right. I was looking for, I'm leaning back so I can give myself space to put the picture in. Oh, fair enough. Don't worry, I thought about this. Just put the whole thing over the whole screen. That is the podcast. That's the podcast, huh? I didn't think of an outro, so... I was going to say. We'll still do our normal one then. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>